What's going on YouTube? Chris here. I want to bring you on an update today of Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin. Right now we got Bitcoin sitting at $62,500. We're up about 1%. I want to talk about our critical area of $65,000 and potential blue sky breakouts here in the next few days. So if you guys get some from these videos, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. It's always appreciated, guys. And let's dig into this. And I also want to know down low, are you guys in a position right now? Are you still hodling? You've been riding? Are you anticipating that we're going to see a little more rejection up here at 65,000 before we potentially break out through it? I'd love to hear your opinion down low. So what we're going to be doing here is looking at Bitcoin on the one day time frame. And guys, the most important thing, if we can get over top of our previous high here of roughly, we'll call it by the wick about $64,800, $65,000, there's going to be no overhead resistance. With no overhead resistance, there's price discovery, and you can just really see a ton of volume flood into the space. So I think that's what a lot of people are looking for right now. We still may have another day or two of sideways movement, but I do think in the long term, in the long run here, we're going to get over top of that. You know, and the reason why I say that is because I wouldn't like to be a bear up in that area. You know, if this area breaks and we go through, then it's blue sky breakouts. Not many bears are going to want to deal with that. So, you know, you have to think of those things as well. Like, what would a bear be thinking? What would a bull be thinking? And I'm thinking more like a bull with a potential blue sky breakout coming in the days or weeks to come here. So I think it's pretty exciting stuff for Bitcoin here, guys. The main thing is we just want to see good volume coming in. On the one-day time frame, we had our nice trend line break out of our correction there, short-term downtrend. And what we want to see, guys, is heavy volume as we break up through this. That's what's going to be important. If it's weaker volume, then we may have to drop back down and test some lower levels. We just previously tested about 59,000, and it got bought up pretty good here on above average volume. So that's a nice thing. The relative strength right now is at 74. So I'd look for support to hold at about 59,100. I'd even call it $60,000 I want to hold. And then we need to have a daily candle close over about 65,000 for us to get those confirmed blue sky breakouts. If we take a look at our cipher here, we do have a red dot warning up here. So we want to be aware of that. Wave heights at about 66. VWAP is trying to turn positive here. We're at negative 0.11. You can see you're trying to go to the positive and the money flow is in the green going down just a little bit here. But guys, in my opinion, we may go sideways for a little bit longer, but I think we're going to get up over top of this at some point here. So that's when the fun will really begin. And we're just going to have to be patient and, and just wait for that time to come and make sure it's on good heavy volume. And if we take a look at the Heiken Ashi candles here, you can see this candle's not looking too bad. We don't have any lower wick right there. They're getting a little bit smaller, so maybe losing a little bit of strength there, but we're going to see if we can get up through that area. And what I like about the Heiken Nachi here, guys, you can see it really helps with the trends right in here. And then if you have small candles, when you sell off on weak volume, most likely you're going to go higher. They can really tell you a lot. If you have these big, long red candles here, most likely you're really going to go down farther. So there's a lot. I've been trying to study on them a little bit more. So let's take a look now at Ethereum next. And if you like me covering ETH, just put ETH down low. Guys, obviously one of my favorite coins to play as well. So for Ethereum now, on the Heiken Ashi candles here, you're seeing we're just moving sideways here. Small candles, about average volume to a little bit below average volume here. We're just going to see if we get something similar to this here, where we just cool down or move sideways a little bit before we potentially try that $4,000 again. If we get over top of $4,000, we're going to go up there and challenge about $4,400. If we're over top of that, it's going to be blue sky breakouts for Ethereum as well. So it almost like Ethereum's in this massive ascending triangle in a way. So, you know, we may have to chop around in here a little bit longer, but I do believe Ethereum's gonna get over top of these levels in the next weeks to come here, guys. It's gonna be pretty exciting for Ethereum. If all goes as planned, hopefully. All right, another thing to look for when you're looking at these Heikinashi candles, see if you have really long wicks at the top here, that's gonna show you most likely you're gonna have a big move to the downside. If you have a lot of wicks, to the downside here and you can see all this defense here many times i'll tell you that you're going to get a nice move to the upside so i really like to pay attention to wicks and basically the length of them and wick clusters that can really help you out but for ethereum we want to hold for support i'd call it about 3636 is going to be the area we're looking for and we also want to hold this uptrend line here Relative strength at 65, so plenty of room to do a nice move. If we can get it, VWAP is negative 2 right now, so we need that curling back to the upside. We have heavy volume in the green there for the money flow. We did get a red dot, and the wave height there was about 60. 
So it wasn't coming in up here about 88 or 90. So we do want to be aware of that because sometimes you can get these red dots, guys, and then it's canceled out by a green one right after it. You can see back over here it happened. So we had a red one and then all of a sudden a green one and it just kept moving. So just something to give you a little bit of caution as we're up here. We may move sideways before we potentially go a little bit higher there for Ethereum. And Ethereum, guys, with how many have been getting burned and everything, like 500,000 or more now, I love that. Absolutely love coin burns. All right. I think that was a great thing to go to for Ethereum. All right, so Litecoin here, we are getting one of those green dots coming in right here. What we'd want to hold is support. I'm going to say about 175 is going to be the area, and then it'd be down to around that 166 are going to be our support areas. We really need to get over, guys. It's going to be about 190, and then it'd be up to about 200, that round psychological number, and then it's going to be up to around that 232. So for me right now, remember I was talking to you guys about entering at 157. I am still riding that position right now. I've been moving my stop losses up. I believe right now I have my stop loss at about 173. So I'm just sneaking that up behind. If this continues to go great, if it rolls over, then I'm stopped out in a profit and it is what it is. I look for another great trade. That's basically how I like to do this, guys. But I want to see these higher lows continuously coming in here and higher highs so we can try to test some of these higher levels. Relative strength looking good at 62. If we take a look, money flow is slightly in the green there. VWAT moving to the upside. We're at 2.26. We do not have any red signals up there. So I want to take a look at that. And then if we take a look at the technicals for Litecoin, we have a 3 cell, a 10 neutral, and a 13 buy. Oscillators, 1 cell, 9 neutral, and 1 buy. Moving averages, 2 cell, 1 neutral, and 12 buy. So I would say, guys, I think it's being patient right now. I think we're going to hit some of these higher levels with these coins, but we're just going to have to see if we can get that volume and that follow through. That's what's going to be most important. So watch these areas. If you get some from this, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. God bless you all. Take care.